गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंप्रोमाइज डिग्री एंड चैलेंज टू दिस कंप्रोमाइज डिग्री सपोज देयर इज अ सूट एंड पार्टीज हैव कंप्रोमाइज एंड सूट इज डिसाइडेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कंप्रोमाइज सेटलमेंट बिटवीन द पार्टीज एंड लेटर ऑन वन ऑफ द पार्टीज challenges or wants to challenge this compromise decree on the ground that the compromise entered upon was voidable or the void so validity of the decree uh, such party wants to challenge what are the remedies available to him recently on our supreme court on 9th february in sri surya developers and promoters versus n salis prashad came across with the same question what happened in this instant case a suit was filed in 2015 a compromise was filed by the parties and it was endorsed and accepted by the court and consequently a compromise decree under order 23 was passed later on one of the parties uh, wanted to challenge the, 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 uh, this decree on the ground that it was uh, not correct it was voidable or the void or there has been no free will or whatever the ground so what this plaintiff uh, what this party did in what manner it is very interesting because order 23 rule 3a bars is fresh suit challenging the a compromise decree so a fresh suit could, could not have been brought this party being plaintiff in 2018 filed a separate suit and by a very uh, clever drafting the counsel for the this plaintiff virtually challenged this compromise decree but claimed the relief that in the form of declaration that it may be declared that since the compromise decree is is a voidable decree or a void uh, decree and uh, not to be binding upon the plaintiffs and with some other reliefs also defendant appeared and moved an application under order 7 rule 11 rejection of the plaint under order 7 rule 11 there is a ground that suit is barred if the suit is barred by the law then plaint is to be rejected trial court accepted it and rejected the plaint on the ground that suit is barred in view of uh order 23 rule 3a this was challenged before the additional district judge in first appeal it was confirmed then the matter went before the high court and high court set aside the both the judgments of the lower court and held that uh view taken by the trial court and the first appellate court was not correct and the plaint could not have been rejected and then the this appeal was before the supreme court challenging the high court order honorable supreme court upheld the decision of the trial court and reiterated its earlier view on this point that a compromise decree cannot be challenged by filing a fresh suit on ground of fraud or otherwise 
बिकॉज द प्रोविजो टू सेक्शन थ्री ए ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी थ्री स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन दैट इफ एनी पार्टी अलेजेज और डिनाइज द एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द क्लेम्स इन द कंप्रोमाइज डिग्री दे कैन अप्रोच दिस वेरी कोड विच पास द डिग्री सो द रेमेडी अगेंस्ट ए कॉम्प्रोमाइज डिग्री वुड लाई टू विद अप्रोचिंग द सेम कोर्ट एंड प्रेइंग विद द कोर्ट टू सेट इट असाइड ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट डिग्री वॉज ए नलिटी और ए वॉइड और वॉइडेबल वट एवर द केस मे बी बिकॉज अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज डिग्री वुड ऑपरेट एज एन एस्टोपल एंड वुड बी माइंडिंग सो लॉन्ग एज इट इज नॉट चेलेंज टू सिचुएशंस में अराइज फर्स्ट इज वेन द डिग्री वेन द कंप्रोमाइज इज वॉइड इन इट सेल्फ देन द डिग्री पास ऑन ए वॉइड कंप्रोमाइज वुड ऑल्सो बी एनालिटी बट वट टू डू वेन द कंप्रोमाइज वॉज वॉइडेबल नॉट द वॉइड सो वेन द कंप्रोमाइज वाइड वॉज वॉइडेबल दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एग्रीमेंट वॉज वॉइडेबल then it would be a valid and degree passed on it would be valid so long as it is not it is not been challenged in that case party certainly needs to challenge it some other aspects were also dealt with by on the supreme court that against a compromise degree a party cannot file an appeal in view of section 96 sub clause 3 of the cpc the party can also not file an appeal under order 41 as it has not made, been made a ground number 3 order 23 rule 3a itself bars a suit for suit challenging a compromise decree honorable supreme court also said that if it is not a de- compromise decree and decree is result of playing upon the fraud playing the fraud upon the other party then a suit for setting aside the decree on the ground of the fraud would be maintainable provided it is not a compromise decree the only remedy against a compromise decree would be to approach the court concerned and to place all the relevant facts and make a prayer before the same court to set it aside to set it aside so this controversy has now been set at rest and uh, it is a very interesting case in the sense that the uh, uh, drafting drafting uh, of the advocates should be very specific and clear and they must not find a way by moving uh, this way or that way and unnecessary uh, entering the into the litigation because it ultimately affects the system and the litigants too hope this point might have been made clear to you thank you